Okay, now we're going to use Excel to capture and create our run chart. So let's start with the graph title. And units. All right. Now we're going to go get the data. So we'll go to our records, get the timestamp first, copy and paste, and then we'll go get the values. Do the same thing. We're looking at the counts now in column D. All right. Now the next step, we want to adjust the horizontal axis. So let's do that. Put your mouse over and right click Format Axis. And we're going to make the step every six months. And then we can close. And now we'll put our mouse on the vertical axis and format that axis. We're going to have a minimum value of 700, maximum value of 1100, and a fixed step count of 100. And by default it will cross at the minimum value. Our reference median, we're going to use the first five months. And so we can put an X at five months and enter that will adjust the median. Now we need some um, reference notes. So we're going to, in Excel, we go to the text box. And we can begin our notes. If you want to put an arrow in, you can go to Insert and Shapes and grab an arrow. We can put an arrow here. And we're going to add another text box here to talk about the gap. And and again, we can go grab the arrow. If you want to have a box around that, that's fine or you can eliminate that box line. And we'll go grab arrow again and point to the gap. All right. Now, finally, we want to put a note about uh, analysis and contact information. We can shrink the size of the data window just a bit so we can get that in there. So we'll grab that and just shrink it just a bit, and then that gives us some space to put our last note there. And if you want to stretch it just a bit that way for clarity, and we'll insert the final note down here. And today's date. And we can pull that down if you find that that's too close to your axis. We can move it just a bit. OK. And that finishes our display. Don't forget to save your file. That's it.